have four hydrogen spectral lines. Now we'll take a closer look at hydrogen spectrum, both the emission spectrum and the absorption spectrum. Why is this one called emission spectrum? Because these are the colors of light that are emitted that we can see. Order is dark. And this one is called absorption spectrum because these are the colors of light that are absent. That's why they appear dark. Rydberg's formula. The wavelength of the emitted or absorbed photon in the hydrogen spectrum can be calculated using the Rydberg's formula, which is the one here. It's slightly complicated. One over lambda wavelength. Equal to R is called the Rydberg's constant. It's got this constant value. S is called a series number. It starts from 1 and 2 and 3 and so on. L is just one more than S. So S plus 1, S plus 2, and so forth. Several series have been discovered in the hydrogen spectrum as shown in the table on the next slide. Spectral line series for hydrogen. Five series have been discovered. and Each one has a name. And this one here is ultraviolet series, invisible, all these three are infrared. So when series number S is equal to 1, you get ultraviolet series. And then when S equal to 2, you get visible, and these three are all infrared. Bohr's improved model of the hydrogen atom. He explained that electrons in hydrogen atoms could only remain in stable orbits with certain fixed amounts of energy called energy levels. An electron can change from one energy level to another by absorbing or by emitting a photon of light, as we've seen before. An emission spectrum is produced when a hydrogen atom is excited by heat or electrical discharge and the electron is raised to a higher energy level. The electron then falls to a lower level by releasing a photon of light. Bohr used the Ryberg's formula to relate the emitted photon to the energy levels of the electron. Electrons in the hydrogen atom can only exist with energy levels given by this formula. E is the energy. N is called the quantum number of the energy level. The lowest level is 1, 2, 3 and so on. H, Planck's constant. C, speed of light. R, Ryberg's constant. N once again is N. The energy of, the, of an emitted or absorbed photon can be determined by finding a change in orbit of the associated electron. So the energy here of the photon is equal to the difference between two energy levels. Here we have A, electronic absorption transition. This photon of light has been absorbed by this atom to raise this electron from this ground level to this level. Transition means only temporarily because later on this photon of light is given up again by the atom as it cools down, as the electron jumps back from this level to that level. Here is the hydrogen emission spectrum and hydrogen absorption spectrum once again. This diagram shows how the different series of spectral lines are formed. Look at this Balmer series first, which is in the visible range. When an electron drops from this energy level to this level, it will give off a red light photon and appears like that there. Likewise, when an electron falls from this level to that level, it will give off a green light photon, which is there, and so on the rest here. 
so that's visible range. There is a series in the UV range, which is there. So all these ones here will produce a series of lines here. And these ones here, called passion series, will produce a series of lines in the infrared region, which is there. This diagram is showing essentially the same information, but in a different way, in the radial way, if you like. And you have all the five series here. The sun lemon in the ultraviolet range, visible, infrared, infrared, infrared.